Good afternoon everyone, it's Carol here from Aquahaven747.com. Sorry it's been so long since my last video. I have a number of projects that I've been trying to work on. Um, in today's video I wanted to share with you my exterior house painting, which I actually did last year. Um, it took over three months for me to complete. Um, well, almost complete. There's a few things I did not paint last year because I had plans of doing something totally different, um, such as replacing um, some of the board and batten with some vinyl siding, getting new uh, fascia soffit and eaves trough, and also replacing the front porch uh, beams and banisters with um, uh, some barn beams. But those are all in the future, so I thought I'd better just get this out and uh, share it with you. Um, I've managed to um, speed it up a little bit and I'll put some music to it so hopefully you enjoy that. Um, I tried to do it in as chronological order as possible but it isn't. Um, I, tr I ended up uh, going by sections so um, but that wasn't necessarily the way I did it. I went from one part of the house to another depending on how hot it was uh, because uh, we had some really hot days last year. So anyway, I hope you enjoy. See you at the end of the video. Pretty windy today, but um, got started uh, painting the uh, trim and the eaves troughs. So uh, ran out of paint. I'll have to get them some more paint, and uh, and they can get back at it. Good morning here. I am going to start fixing this garage door and painting it. It's got this crack here. I'm going to fill all that with plastic wood. And then I'm going to come over here and try and get that sticker removed. So, anyway, this is before. Um, so, yeah, today I'm hoping just to get that door painted. And then, if uh, it doesn't get too hot, I will come on over here and I will start painting my front porch. Okay, so the uh, plastic wood has uh, been put in the cracks there and hopefully that, that will be good. Um, this also needs a little bit of uh, light sanding, so make sure there's no uh, loose paint there. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to paint out these handles um, and uh, put thing there. Um, and I probably do not want it to stand out, so I've decided to do them in black because the uh, door here is going to be painted a dark gray. So the handles have now been painted with a flat black rust paint. So this is the next day. I finished painting my garage door here and I'm not entirely happy with this panel here where I had to put some wood filler in. So what I'm going to try and do is sand it, put some uh, other filler stuff in and try and get it looking as smooth as possible. Okay, so I have sanded it. Now I'm going to put some more filler stuff in and repaint it. The uh, window is all covered up and taped off and uh, the plan is to prime and paint the uh, trim. Um, I've already cleaned it so I'm going to get started. Okay so I used up my one can of primer that I had left. I'm hoping that's enough. 
I can still see some of the yellow underneath, but um, anyway, I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to be enough. I finished um, painting the trim on the window. Now I need to prep all the uh, siding here, give it a little clean and a sand, and then I can start painting. Okay, so I wanted to repaint this uh, light here as well, and it's in more shape than the one in the back. It's actually kind of peeling here. So I'm going to have to sand all that down and prime it first. I was almost done with the gray and I had a little oops here. So I brought my pressure washer up here and I'm hoping I can get all that at it. So this morning I thought I should just paint this little section here before it gets too hot. And then I was looking at it and thinking, well, maybe I should paint that handrail first. Um, might be easier to spray paint that first and then I can paint the rest of it. Okay, so I finished this section. I'm probably going to have to go back and touch up all the little spots after it dries. Um, but I'll save that for another day when it's uh, not so hot. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, so I've already started painting this little section here. I used uh, plastic wrap and painter's tape to uh, cover up the handrail, which I already painted white and uh, hopefully get all this done before it gets too hot. It's already, it's not even nine o'clock and the sun's already down on it. So I'll get at it. Okay, so I finished uh, the first coat or two. Unfortunately, I cannot see very well the spots I miss with the sun shining on it like this. So I'm gonna have to probably wait till tomorrow to do another coat and try and get all the spots I miss. Once again, I forgot to take the four shot of uh, this window here, but um, basically it's just going from this kind of yellowish cream color to uh, the white. Um, it's actually ivory, but anyway, I will continue on. Michael started on this section here at the side, it's on the big long ladder, and uh, I'm gonna go and work on the pergola. Lots of peeling paint on the pergola, so I am going to prep it for painting and hopefully get at least that part done today. Okay, so it's uh, actually probably about a week later and I'm finally getting to the other half here. Just finished sanding and scraping all the loose paint. And um, I went and bought some more paint because I had used semi-gloss paint on the other half there and it's, uh, it's too shiny. <laughs> so I went and bought some flat paint. So um, I will go over that eventually. I'm going to do this side first and then I do have to give the other side uh, a sand before I can go over it with the flat paint. So I finished painting at least the first coat on this half and I gotta start going over my second coat on the other half that has the wrong kind of paint on. So I'm just going to finish doing this little section today and that'll be it for my painting because it's going to be too hot but I wanted to at least get the fascia and soffit done here and the uh, siding as well. So I already started with the fascia and soffit. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and do some touch-ups and I'll carry on. Okay, well, I forgot to shoot the four shots here, but today I covered up the windows, painted all the trim white, and then I started doing the charcoal on this lower section here. Hey, I forgot to take before pictures here again, but um, so the windows have been covered and the window trim uh, has its first coat of paint on. So uh, let's let it dry for a little bit and, uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. So I am going to paint the trim around this window. Um, I had wanted to pressure wash this whole wall and up there and get the siding all prepped and ready for the gray paint. Um, 
but I think it's too hot and with the pressure washer sitting in the sun I think it's overheated at least that's the only reason I can think why it won't work now but anyway I'll get going on this okay so I painted the trim around here you probably notice I got some uh, paint on the glass and here as well all around but I'm not worried about that because I got a little trick to get that off really easily and I figured it'd be quicker to just go ahead and paint like that and not bother taping so anyway I'll share my little trick um, after it's all dry I don't know if I can do this too well uh, holding the camera at the same time but I will try um, what I'm doing here is using my razor and I'm very carefully going down. Yeah. So that is how I easily get off all the paint on the window. And uh, so I'm going to just quickly finish doing this. One thing to make this easier is to score it on the edge first. So I've done all that. And then it'll come away, hopefully, a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, so the uh, pressure washer seems to be working again today, so I'm going to give it another shot. Sorry for the noise in the background. Of course, he's going to start that up right now. But anyway, here we go. Okay, so this is as far as I've got to today, and now i got to take my grandkids to the splash pad. Well, Michael's up doing the front gable now. So exciting. Uh, we may end up changing out the gables to cedar shakes eventually, but right now we're just painting. Finally getting to this section of the siding to paint. Um, it's still in pretty good condition and I did a little bit of sanding and scraping yesterday. It may be all I can do. I have to get uh, my son to finish off everything else so I will get started good morning I am finally getting to do this last little section of the siding and the window trim there uh, my son came last night and he rigged up this little contraption so I could uh, level out the ladder forgot to um, take a before video of doing this part. I've removed my house numbers and painted them white and uh, I probably do one, another coat of paint up here before I put the house numbers back on and um, also plan on doing the trim today around the garage door and I'm not sure what else I'll get to. Okay so I finished uh, painting part of this triangle with some gray paint I already had. I thought it might do however I really like this one better concrete and uh, it doesn't probably show up on camera very well but uh, the one the gray I've got is more blue and the concrete I think goes better with the charcoal paint that I got so yep I'm gonna have to get more paint anyway because uh, I know I won't be happy until I get it here on my ladder and just doing a, a quick sand before I start painting and uh, then I'll get at it. I'm going to do this before it gets hot. So I finished painting the first coat of paint. I have to have a coffee and then I'll come back and uh, do another coat there. Um, I checked out my chimney there as I showed you earlier. Um, there's a wasp nest there so I sprayed that. So whenever we do get around to working on that, um, hopefully there won't be a problem of, of uh, wasps. So I'm up here on top of my roof around my chimney and I I noticed a lot of these 
pieces of wood are kind of rotten and breaking off. Um, I was going to paint it, but now I'm thinking maybe I should just put siding. Replace that with siding. Anyway. Uh, well, that's another project. Once again, I forgot to take some before pictures and video before I started working on this, but I haven't done too much at least. Um, I'm just going to do as much as I can. My son's going to come and finish up <sighs> up there because I can't reach that high. But um, yeah, so I've taped off the window, started scraping and sanding uh, the paint on the siding here. And uh, I'm up here pretty early in the morning because later on in the day it's way too hot. So I'm going to finish doing this wall and the little section around the corner. Um, which I'll show you uh, Hopefully I'll remember to take that picture before I start Well, I've done as much of the sanding and scraping as I can I think That side's almost ready to paint and now I just have to Do this part here this one. It's just it's just bad at this this end here looks okay up there So that's what I'm doing next Okay, so I finished the first coat on there, and now I'm going to do this section. Okay, so I finished at, well, I actually have done about two coats of paint all along here. And uh, I think I'm done for today. I'm going to leave the uh, plastic on the window for now, and uh, maybe tomorrow morning I'll come and do some touch-ups before I take it off. And uh, I might even get to doing a little bit of a, um, a gable up there. So I'm up here again, and uh, I'm going to caulk where I don't know where some places need caulking. And then I'm going to take the plastic off the window over there, and I am going to do any touch ups. And then hopefully, um, Oh, maybe I'll do a little bit of painting on the gable here. I don't think I'll be able to do too high up, but uh, I'll do what I can and then leave the rest for my son to do. Okay, so I finished painting all I can here. I'm going to have to wait for the guys to come and finish it up for me. So anyway, that's what we're looking at now. Okay, so Michael's up there painting the gable for me and uh, hopefully get all the gables done before um, it gets too hot. <laughs> 